Good evening, mortals. Hello, everyone. We're playing Exalted. I'm joined by friends. Yes. Friends. Definitely friends. I love that everyone is so supportive of me and my friend I, group. I, I, enjoy, <laughs> I enjoy all of this. Yeah. Yes, every inch of it. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Anyways, okay, you were going to go. shout out Blackthorn. Yeah, I am. So, uh, Blackthorn, uh, thank you. Thank you for the prime, buddy. I appreciate it. Thanks, motherfucker. I appreciate you. But wait, it gets better. Why? Binging in chat for 10 months. Whoa. Oh, my God. Thanks, guys. Oh. <laughs> oh. A hype train is close. <gasps> We've had one of those before. Hype, 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 That's hype. That's exciting. We need another one. We just need Nick on to throw train. one penny at Jordan. <laughs> Hang on. Uh, I think there is actually is a minimum number of bits. There is, yeah. It's don't worry about it. It's it's just I I've now seen those before. It's exciting. And Nick threw a penny at my head. Thanks, Nick. <laughs> uh, Thanks, Nick. Speak of the devil and he shall appear. <laughs> Clearly. Uh, I don't think it's gonna be a thing though, guys. Uh, thank you. Stop throwing pennies in my head. I'm trying to start exalted. Uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Um, how's everyone doing tonight? Uh, T, thank you for your incoherent screaming. I'm glad you were first here. Everyone who came here after T is late. Oh, thank you, Scald. Holy shit. Wow, we have a hype train. My god. Heck we yeah. did it. On, hype, on an hype, exalted hype, stream. Hype, hype, yeah, hype, 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 like hype, 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 two hype. minutes? Hell yeah. I am a successful and sexy streamer. Hype. Thank you, everyone, for the bits. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Chicken and Nick and and everyone for supporting the channel. I appreciate it a lot. It means a lot to me. Uh... <laughs> oh, Nick threw many bits for hype. Holy Jesus. Nick. All right. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, all the pennies. <laughs> uh... In before Jordan just takes... <laughs> In before Jordan just takes six... Uh... 38, 38 nickels to the face from wife. <laughs> no, fortunately, fortunately Fuck. I'm safe because wife is not currently here. So, so I'm, I'm safe. Wife went to go to uh, ice cream store to purchase ice cream. <gasps> Got it. Uh, guys, um, so. Uh... All right, so we're canceling Exalted and we're all going to the ice cream store. <laughs> yes. Come on. Um, yes. I have been thinking I should do like a walk in nature stream or something like that if I can get away with it. That would be pretty cool. Just be like, hey, look, chat, a tree, and everyone will be like, ooh. Uh, tree. Then my first stream would be me following you around being like, look at this asshole. <laughs> look at this <laughs> fucking guy. Walking through, walking through. He's just holding his phone at, like, you know, arm's length. Uh, he's clotheslined several people. <laughs> uh, instead of apologies, he just asked them to subscribe to the channel. Like, it's just, it's, it's a thing. It's, Jorb's whole personality yeah. these days is his channel. He's really got to <laughs> fucking calm down a little. I saw him at I saw him at the grocery store the other day, and he he talked to the cashier for like twenty minutes about it. She was very uncomfortable. Yeah, and then somebody <laughs> I have no idea who, just a completely random citizen, just threw a whole shopping cart in the back of his head. You know, <laughs> just very random. It's cosmic justice. <laughs> no one to blame. It's just whatever it is. Uh, well, that's exciting. Thanks, everyone. That was, that's cool. Oh, it's, uh, it didn't actually start, but still, I appreciate it, everyone. That's cool. Um, wow. <laughs> I've been streaming for, like, a year, guys. Yep. I did not expect this still to... Still pennies at you. I did not expect this to work out this way. This is crazy. Well, gay. Let's get on with yep. gay. Yep. All right. Gay me time. So, if it... <laughs> Chicken just assaulted me with more pennies. <laughs> penny, 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 One penny, more penny, percent penny, to the hype train. Yeah. Yeah, don't worry about it, guys. <laughs> uh, at any rate, um, so if you guys will recall, last session we had, uh, you guys had a uh, interview with a gentleman who, you know, he was totally on the up and up. He had a long track record of being 
the uh, the uh, a good guy and uh, you know giving uh, fair coverage to everything. And he did an utter character assassination of Mercy. Just took her the fuck down on TV. Uh, oh, thank you, Nick. <laughs> oh, Sin got the got the gift sub. Hey, hey, look at that. And, oh, and we got the train going. That's awesome. Thank you so much, Nick. It's very kind of you. Uh, okay, so... Um, first off, Aki, how are you feeling about that? Uh, I mean, we've had a week of blue booking in between. Um, so she's kind of worked through it. Um, initially, it was just uh, feels bad. Um, mm -hmm. And she actually, like, I I did send the blue, my uh, synopsis, like, a little bit late, so um, the first day she actually ended up staying out pretty much until, like, dawn. Um, just trying to help people and, like, ignore the bad trains of thought. It was not good. Yeah, not good at all. Mm -hmm. Uh... And you guys recall Darius followed Paul, the uh, reporter, home, and uh, there was some weird stuff going on in his apartment, like uh, the smell of ozone and light, and lights flickered in the building. Uh, which you guys, uh, wild mass guessed last week was some supernatural shit going on, or the uh, the worst bath bomb. Uh, I would say best bath bomb personally. It's the most effective. At any rate, uh, dark, dark, dark jokes aside, uh, let's uh, let's talk about uh, what you guys did during your week. I'm gonna go from left to right on D uh, roll twenty, just because that's who I am as a person. Please keep it uh, short and sweet, nice, succinct. Uh, you know, explanation of what you did. We don't need to talk about every moment of Ben finding out that his family didn't hate him for disappearing for a while. Uh, or how he covered up a, uh, a hole in the uh, wall of the uh, house they all share with a Bruce Lee poster. We don't talk about that. Darius doesn't know yet. Da what? He doesn't, you haven't told Darius? Oh, shit. Ooh. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> well, don't worry. Uh, I'm, I'm in control of everything in the universe, so Darius simply can't notice the poster. You're good. Anyway... Uh, ooh, actually, Exalted is the one game where I can say something like that, and then the character does it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, let's get started. Sam, what what, uh, what did Joaquin get up to? Joaquin um, made an attempt to gather some info on exactly what happened uh, three days ago at the time, I believe, um, when Paul's wife died in a car accident. He found maybe a name of somebody who was killed in a car accident on the same day, but nothing conclusively linking them. And uh, a great deal of stuff was very, um, very private. It wasn't reported on in the news, it seems like. Um, Paul's news uh, connections meant that this was kept very, very uh, on the down low. Okay. What really happened. Uh, ben, what did you get up to? Which, uh, sorry. That witch, fellow streamer. That would, yes. yes. Uh, so Ben uh, got the courage to go talk to his brother to warn him, like, hey, so if people start coming around asking about me, don't tell them anything, and uh, took Mercy along with them. And yeah, learned that his brother doesn't hate him, uh, went and had some nice Chinese food, gave her a cool pig piggyback ride. All good. Could you um, actually elaborate on the piggyback ride? I, I understood there was more to it than that. <laughs> uh, the, they're basically just walking home from having Chinese food after meeting Ben's brother, who's a twin, by the way. And uh, Mercy was saying that she was tired from, you know, walking around all night. So Ben offered to uh, carry her along with the food. And she was like, fine, we gotta test our uh, abilities anyway. So he gave her a piggyback all the way home. All right, sounds romantic. Speaking of, hey, Mercy, uh, Aki, my good friend. Hello. 
Uh, so, actually I'll just straight up open it. Um, so, like I said, the night of the interview, she stayed out most of the night until around dawn. Um, she hung out with Ben. Uh, day two, she hung out with James. Uh, they went to the scene of the accident. Uh, learn James learned some stuff. Mercy is not good at that yet. Uh, we went to Bed Bath and & Beyond, and Mercy attempted to contact the Unconquered Sun. And then other than that, uh, pretty much just did walkabouts after dark, like she normally does. Okay. Uh, James Scald. Scald James. J just jaw the skeins. Yo. So... <clears throat> Uh, James focused on uh, his work quite a bit this week. Um, probably just trying to um, maybe do a little damage control nice from uh, Paul's expose. Uh, went out with Mercy to check out the scene of the crash. Uh, found out that uh, Paul's wife had died as a result of a drunk driver t-boning her basically uh, the driver had been on his cell phone as well uh, the late pardon me I can't remember the name of Paul's wife but she uh, Shelly Shelly her name was Shelly Atfield thank you Shelly Atfield uh, she had her radio on and there was an overlamp overwhelming sense of uh, sadness around that crash site as well uh, aside from that I mean James has a day job you know superpowers doesn't really change that <laughs> it could with the right bureaucracy charms true uh, all right and uh, my good friend uh, f uh, another fellow streamer Sue Crown uh, Darius uh, I stalked Paul and had a chat with Ben Oh yeah. Yeah, that's right. Uh what was your uh what was the result of you stalking Paul? Absolutely nothing. And what exactly were you doing to stalk him? I was leaving my leaving earlier and earlier to see if he was leaving his house at all. Hmm. And he came up with nothing. Yeah, and I would stay there till like dead of night. Weird. Well, um Shall we get started, everyone? Hell yeah. Ben so, has something he wants to show the group. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, in in game, or you want to show chat the patterns? Matters. No, in game. In okay. game. In game. Okay. Ben's been waiting to get everyone together at the same time in the condo so he can show them something. Okay. Uh, so we're gonna pick up. It is mid afternoon in the condo. Um, it's about. It's a little less than a week later or two weeks. A week later? I said a week, right? So it's like six days before uh, your... Uh, well, before a week. Uh, at any rate, I'm making total sense. Can you tell I'm tired? Uh, it's six days after the events of last session. Uh, you guys have had some chances to investigate, to some chances to stalk. It is currently uh, mid-afternoon in the condo, and for once, everyone is together. So, Ben runs around the house. Hey guys, everyone's here. I want to show you something. I'll meet you all up in the conservatory. Joe he rushes kind of back like, down to his bedroom. Uh, Joe, Joe raises his eyes from the table full of papers that he's had like spread across this table uh, all week. All right, uh, one moment, please. Let yeah, yeah, take back. your time. All right. I'm concerned okay. for the room made of glass. Anybody Don't want Don't worry, coffee? Darius, it's fine. <laughs> we'll be fine, oh. trust me. Take coffee, Jay. Right on. Please. I'll make, I'll make a pot. <laughs> Alright, so while everyone's, like, gathering in the conservatory, they watch as Ben goes up and down the stairs. First, he carries the nail bed that he made prior. He's like holding it over his head, 
He has this super big grin on his face, and he just lays it down in the middle of the room. He looks at everyone. Dose up on that. He runs back downstairs. Mercy is like trying and to suppress a smile behind like drinking coffee. He, uh, he goes downstairs, and next time he comes upstairs, he's carrying a stack of six large cinder blocks with surprising ease. Only, like, almost losing balance at one point up the stairs. He comes up and he just places the cinder blocks beside the nail bed. He goes, one last thing. He runs back down the stairs. <laughs> Moment or two later, comes back up with the sledgehammer. He looks like a giddy child holding this hammer. He goes, ah, oh. hmm. Here, Darius, hold this. I will take the sledgehammer away from okay. Ben <laughs> and go to the other we, side. We've got, of the, we've got the nail room. bed. We've got a sledgehammer. Yeah. We've got yep. cinder blocks. And sorry, we're located where? In the a tiny room, room on top oh, of everything. No. Oh, oh, okay. Chat. We are very yeah. tiny. Ben doesn't have any here. defensive charms. What do, you, do you want me to choose a bigger room? Oh, we can move it. this up to a bigger room. Oh, just, just go. All right. All right, guys. So, oh no, you guys wanted to think of ways to test our oh. our abilities and our bodies' resistances and stuff. So, where my seafood came from, they have a bunch of different in endurance tests. Um, can't remember what they're actually called in Chinese, but they're basically known as Iron Shirt and Golden Bell form. I don't know what you're and what talking you do. About this is one of the methods. As he points down to the nail bed. What you do is you, uh, you, uh, lie down like this. Oh. And he kind of gently eases himself onto the, the, uh, the nail bed. Lays down. So you, you lay down like this on the nail bed. And you get someone else to put, like, a bunch of cinder blocks right on your abs. And then you get a third person to come over with a sledgehammer and smash him. What do you guys think? It's such a bad idea. It sounds it's like... like a fantastic way to get tetanus. <laughs> no, no, no. The, the, my, my weight is spread out across many little nails, so it doesn't actually break the skin or anything. Oh and, my God. you know, normal people, Shaolin monks, are able to, like, have two, three blocks smashed on them. I bet I could double that. That's why I got six of them. Joaquin just kind of like uh, glances at the others to see if anybody else is uh, is is with him on this. Oh no! Uh, James is going to walk out of the room and come back a couple of seconds later with his uh, his work oh, this camera. Is such a bad idea. Oh, no. <laughs> He's gonna look into it and go, "My name is uh, James <laughs> Thaddeus Cromwell, and this is Jackass." <laughs> Oh, no. oh, Mercy, oh, Mercy that finally wild. brings to that. <laughs> Joe, Joe kind of like gives him a look oh, like he has no idea what he's talking about. I mean, there is a um, an ability that I can do that I've tested, um, and I bring out my fucking character sheet. Uh, Mercy steps up onto the um, on the nails, barefoot. Uh, okay. Can I get a dexterity and balance no. check? I'm. I'm. Never mind. This is yeah, you're fine. After after Ben rolls off of it, because he's right now he's he's explaining all this while he's laying on the nail bed. Yeah. So you just right. walk on Ben? No. I wait till he wakes. I wait till he gets off. Wow, that's gonna take a while. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> what? Hey Ben, what's your stamina? Uh, a lot. What's your performance? Uh, hang on. Um, ben, slightly less, but still a lot. Uh, <laughs> ben, do you have any sex charms? Just cut to the chase here. Maybe. <laughs> 
I think explicitly one. Yeah, uh, we've had this conversation. He doesn't know. <laughs> uh, that means canonically, Ben is better at sex than he has any right to be. That's <laughs> so perfect for your himbo ass character. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right. Well. I've taken a look over your character sheet. I'm noticing a lack of a specific kind of charm that would help with this, so I encourage this wholeheartedly. Please do this. What, to Aki to step on the, the nails, or...? No, no, Aki just passes the check. Read the uh, charm. Okay. But, uh, yeah, Aki just walks on the nail bed. It's not even hard at all uh, for Mercy. Yeah. Ben, ben Which is back on so the nail not bed. Yeah, it's so how it's not how it's supposed to be done according to conventional mortal things. But no, she just puts like all of her weight on her feet and just walks on it. It's great. Uh, the best part is, uh, uh, Mercy could technically stand on a, a single, single nail. nail and be fine. <laughs> yep. Just going to say, um, Mercy, uh, realizing that some people don't uh, haven't seen the bed of nails trick before, um, very kind of gracefully brings one foot up so that she's now just standing on one foot on the nails. <laughs> okay. Nice. Um, everyone who knows anything about the bed of nails tricks knows that's either a lot of training hours uh, Mercy has put into being able to take the weight uh, over such a small area or it's probably bullshit superpowers. Yeah. <laughs> I call bullshit superpowers. <laughs> yeah, ben, ben actually has training in this kind of stuff. Um, uh, standing on one foot on it is technically possible for Masters of Balance. Yeah. That's about it. And just to really drive the point home, for lack of a better term, uh, Mercy raises herself up onto the ball of her foot. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Obvious bullshit. Yeah, it is now uh, outside the realm of possibility. Uh, Mercy is uh, straight up just cheating at this point. Uh, Mercy, yeah, for like you. That's the wire trick you showed me. For you, Mercy, it feels like you're standing on just like a sidewalk. It's not hard. Yep. So, when um, Ben and I first hung out, uh, I was testing it. Um, Enjoy this time. By walking on Guys, like jewelry craft this, wire, this which nice, is pleasant, easy innocent to bend, time. But um, even walking up and down it. I was not bending it whatsoever. As though you had yeah, no weight at all. Exactly. Yeah, it was like super cool. Hmm. So, she hops up. Alright, so what do you guys think? You want to test this? Who wants to break cinder blocks on me? And he lays back down on the nail bed. Uh -huh. We are going with the least physically powerful first to work our way up. Perhaps I should go first. Good idea. Okay. I uh, will hand the hammer to Joe saying, I don't think I can properly swing this, given my situation. Oh, uh, well, and I indicate, like, like Joe's eyes go to the, the, the arm. <laughs> there. Well, well, uh, hold on. I don't really have enough cinder blocks to do a bunch for me and then like one for each of you I but will decline to I participate am, yes I will pass thank you oh come on all right all right change of plans change of plans lay down on the bed and they'll have someone else step on them come on I, what I'm if you just step on, on me bed, then. <laughs> all right uh who who is going to uh help Ben with his new foot fetish <laughs> oh god uh, I was I was gonna make the joke but you did um, Joe Joe just kind of shakes his head lowers the sledgehammer and he says I'm not uh, I'm not interested anymore oh, come on <laughs> one of you just step on me it's fine I leave <laughs> sorry where are you going exactly black lord uh, hey hey witch I have a I have a personal question to ask you on stream here um, oh, yeah? What is it like to to be saying, hey, why don't one of you guys step on me instead of what I assume is your normal of saying, no, thank you. That's not what this is about. <laughs> okay. Um, funny note. 
Ben doesn't even realize that there's an underlying connotation with that statement. He's literally asking someone to add weight. <laughs> no, I I I him. perfectly understand that. I'm just saying it must be strange for for you to have to be on the other side of that question. That's all. Hey man, sometimes I just like to challenge myself. <laughs> Fair enough. Jesus Christ. I uh, <laughs> thought I could take you down a peg, but uh, I'm not finishing the rest of that joke. Holy shit. <laughs> anyway. Uh, okay. So does anyone step on or sledgehammer Ben? Do they do they give him some, uh, some uh, uh, congenital uh, brawling testing? Uh, congenial, you mean? Yeah, some congenial uh, brawn testing is what I meant. Yeah. Yeah. Mercy kind of sighs after seeing the rest of the guys just like refusing and just if we have to. Uh, and Mercy's well, gonna not you. <laughs> but Mercy, you're too way too light. <laughs> I literally carried you all the way from Chinatown. You're way too light for this. James is just filming and laughing under his breath. <laughs> okay. FBI, open up! Mercy's going to uh, nod. Uh, hand Joaquin her coffee. Uh, very carefully, uh, very difficult, uh, like with fair amount of difficulty, uh, pulls over a cinder block and puts it on him. When you do this, you actually watch Ben actually takes a deep breath and flexes his abs. And the sun shines. <laughs> <laughs> From hey, his man, forehead. I don't, <laughs> I don't even need any kind of essence to do this trick, man. But Speaking yeah, he just of... flexes his washboard abs. And uh, Mercy's going to take the sledgehammer and uh -huh. bring it down on the cinder block. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> cool. Are you swinging uh, full strength or are you pulling your, your blow? Uh, I'm going to pull it 75. He is asked nicely. Okay, I need you to make a decisive attack with uh, two uh, dice of initiative, please. Okay. Uh, it if... means you automatically succeed because he's not defending. Yeah, yeah, that's that's why I made it decisive instead of withering. No sense in trying to get the advantage mm -hmm. when your opponent is literally asking for it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how to... Uh, so you'll want to sheet. roll your dexterity plus your melee. Okay. Um, plus any bonuses or penalties you have, which I don't think you do. I have one automatic success, but that's it. Okay, so you add that. Um, the difficulty is going to be the target's defense, which is automatically going to just blow right through that. So roll yep. those dice. And the way it's going to work is you do all of those two successes. Okay. Uh, I have to re-roll one. Oh. Okay, so two successes. Mm. Uh, wait, is that two including the automatic? Yes. Okay, yeah, it is. I can see that. I rolled really poorly you did which is good so uh you uh smash the cinder box uh block to pieces oh wait this is a sledgehammer right mm -hmm. yeah so you literally is got that... the minimum amount of damage you can get with uh, decisive mm -hmm. attacks uh do not benefit from accuracy bonuses and effectively uh she didn't exceed his passive parry uh he's not oh. parrying is his defense is zero defense is zero then she should just roll 2d10 which she did Okay, okay. Uh, and, uh, wait, did you use excellent strike on on this? Yeah. Oh, yeah, of course, because it's instinctive, because it's a charm. Of course yeah. it is. Yep. Anyway, uh, the cinder block explodes uh, pretty much instantly under the force of uh, Mercy's ineffable strike, and uh, the, the sledgehammer carries through and strikes Ben right in the center of the gut. Hey, Ben! You got any, uh, I don't know, resistance charms? See, that was a joke, because I already checked your character sheet, and you don't. Yeah, no, I Which don't Which means so. you're taking two points of lethal damage. <laughs> oh. 
Uh, I have a question for you. Yeah. The cinder block exploded? Uh, it sure did. It showers debris everywhere, although uh, none of it damages anything in the apartment aside from ruining the carpet. I'm just double checking not, because they're in a room made of glass. Oh. Oh, are they? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Low or high, Darius? <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> so, Darius, your your uh, well-attuned senses uh, hear the sound of many bits of shrapnel pinging off the glass. Fortunately, it does not break. <laughs> There's an exhale of stress being released from the other side of the door. Um, so, uh, Ben, do you have anything to mitigate that damage? Is there a, is there a yeah, solar or a dawn cast thing for that? I don't think so. That's twilight only, right? I believe so. Yeah, I How think so. How come the mages are the tankiest? Anyway. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, well, you take two points of lethal damage because you get hit in the core with a sledgehammer wielded by a uh, melee-focused suit yeah. solar. It hurts a lot. Oh, the fact like that you're alive is... Bed. The, the fact that you're alive is strictly due to the fact that you're a solar. Uh, the nail bed, by the way, is bent. Uh, all of the nails that you were laying on from the force uh, just went straight down into the side, immediately bleeding off the excess force into the ground as much as possible. Did it... It kind of like curls up on the side. Oh, man, it's been a while since I felt pain there. Nice one. <laughs> gives, gives Percy a thumbs up. No, wow. no, I, I literally asked you to do that. Oh. Well, Ben, this certainly has been educational. Thank you very much. <laughs> James will walk out of the room. <laughs> <All right. laughs> yeah, no problems, buddy. Oh. oh, man, if I wasn't flexing, that would have broken some bones. <laughs> Actually, I might have broken some bones. Sorry. Don't, stop stop apologizing. I literally told you to do that. Oh boy. Oh, it just means next time uh, maybe I should ask a normal person to swing the sledgehammer. <laughs> Darius comes back into the room with a broom. <laughs> uh, Mercy is like extremely like, oh, I fucked up. <laughs> Like, I'm gonna start sweeping. <laughs> Alright, great. Give me that. I can do it. Um, no, 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 no. Give me that. Um, uh, Joe's gonna take the broom and dustpan, uh -huh. and I'm gonna activate. He's gonna start sweeping, oh and he's gonna go incredibly fast. Uh, Mechanics-wise, this is gonna be lightning speed. Alright, great. Um, but he's just gonna like, literally hands blur with motion. Um, the the, the uh, dust is swept into a neat pile within. Uh, However long. N not no. really, because dust no. takes time to settle. So every you're moving much, much quicker than a normal person would by far. Like, it's yes. not even close. But everyone can still very obviously see you working. And most of the time that you're working, you're literally just standing there waiting. Yeah, Wait there's just the like this ever... There's this growing little pile of dust right in front of him. Yeah. That, and uh, once in a while, like, yeah... The, <laughs> He's just, uh, you, you catch hit several, like, for lack of a better term, frames of him literally leaning on the broom. Uh, if that's okay. So, that's, that's fine, yeah. Because you're moving faster than the, the, like, fine silicate dust can settle, right? Yes. Alright, how do I, <laughs> how do I, like, put this charm in the, oh, okay, found it. Yeah. Yeah, arbitrarily swiftly. <laughs> uh, anyway. Uh, so, with that experiment out of the way and Ben's nail bed wrecked immediately upon first use, uh, what uh, what did you guys have in mind? Darius, I'm... I understood you wanted a little B&E, a little a Beret Canentor. I also have... Um... 
well, not this, but I've, I do have something for everybody. Just kind of, it's been, um, almost a month since we've kind of been together, and, um, well, I wanted to get everybody a gift. If that's okay? Definitely, yeah. Yeah. So, not necessary, The problem but is, sure. Aki... Uh, so Mercy uh, heads down to her room and comes back. Um, Aki is loud. Mercy is quiet. And hands everybody a wrapped gift. <sighs> oh. It's like Chinese Yu New Year's, but early. <laughs> yeah. It's like a gift-giving holiday, but early. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh, so, inside the uh, gifts are a um, both a robe and a scarf in matching colors to um, either their the character's favorite color or what um, they said that they look best in. Um, I just I figured it'd be a good kind of housewarming gift. Um, ben, I also got you some more things because you um, said that you didn't have too much when you came here. And Joe, if uh, I know that you're also uh, coming here to Canada from somewhere else, so I'm also willing. In in the card is a is an IOU, I guess. Joe, kind of like he opens the card. And, 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 like, there's a this scarf in, like, red and blue. He just kind of, like, looks up at her, looks back down and says, I don't think I've ever received something this thoughtful. Or unexpected. Yeah, this is awesome. Thanks, Mercy. He goes and gives her a big hug, picks oh. her up, and then immediately puts her down. Yeah, I was just gonna say. Forgot. Yeah. Gra no grabs the, the ice pack from James. <laughs> I, um, uh, mm, uh, here. Uh, uh, he, uh, Joe's gonna go over and say, if I may. Sure. I'll, uh, need an hour or two after this, but he, uh, puts a hand out, and, um, as he places a, a hand on Ben's shoulder, he closes his eyes, like, most of the way, and... The others might feel a tremble in the air as something shifts in the, the pattern of the, the world around himself and Ben. And something f like something uh, uh, something like power shifts between the two of them, and Ben's injuries v vanish. And he breaks in the skin, any visible injuries. What, what charm are you using for this? Because most medicine okay. charms require actual medical intervention. I, um, I, it's not, uh, it's not a medicine charm. Uh, this is fun. Here goes. Um, lore, 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 lore. Yes. Wound accepting technique. Oh. All right. Wait, so, out of curiosity, mm -hmm. does this, like, bring his wounds onto you? Yep, sure does. So, in the case that Ben's ribs were broken, I hear his ribs fix themselves, mm -hmm. and then Joe's ribs break. Yes. Yeah. You it's... might not even hear Joe's ribs break. They simply are broken now. Yeah. Um, oh. <laughs> however, you can you can hear his breathing become more labored. Uh, uh, two lethal levels, I believe, puts you into minus one. And minus then, ones. Yeah. yeah. So there is... Uh, you can see that he's become injured. He winces. Uh. And he says, I, uh, I need to go sit down if uh, those of you standing will accompany me. Ah. Here, here. I'll, let me help you. Ben kind of offers uh, kind of Joe carry accept. his weight. He's clearly, like, uncomfortable, but he says, my <gasps> pain tolerance skyrocketed when, you know. Yeah, that's. But he still leans on Ben uh, as they head for uh, like the main uh, living room or whatever. Yeah, okay. Ben looks like a mix of confused and worried. 
He's like piecing together what just happened. It's like, dude, you, you don't have to do that. I'm fine. I've been through worse. I um, I have found that I heal very quickly. Uh, perhaps, perhaps you have noticed the same. Have you been injured since? Well, th there was that incident. Ended up with a lot of, lot of bullets. <laughs> yeah. Though I don't think I'd heal quite as quickly as you or Darius. I will be fine within, um... Uh, I believe, like, a minus one health level in normal terms is, like, hours? Oh, shoot, what's nope. the Uh, you heal one lethal health level per day, uh, uh, per essence. <laughs> normally so with body bending meditation depending on how many successes you get uh your your you'll be healed by the end of the day kind of thing yeah i will be fine by this by late this evening depending on how much you roll yeah so he's going based on his past experience where wait he, a second um, yeah yeah did you spend six motes and two willpower for wound accepting technique i did okay good yeah <laughs> Uh, where do I track the willpower? I'll find it. It's on the oh, first found it. Yep, so it is. Uh, roll yeah, roll. but if you could roll stamina and resistance, I'd appreciate it. Yes, finding the stamina and... Um, also, why does Solar Man have rainbow dick? One, two, I three, feel four, five, safe six, in... seven, eight, not... I apparently, um, his speed healing by a factor of nine... Two, four, six, eight, nine. Yeah, damn. Uh, nine times your essence. So you heal nine times faster. If it takes you 24 hours to heal one point of lethal, it would take 48 hours. Or, right? One point of lethal? Hang on. Um, two points of lethal. Okay. Uh, you heal. Stamina divided by two lethal or aggravated damage per day. Uh, so what's your stamina? Three. So 1.5 round up because it's exalted, so you heal two per day. So factor of nine, 24 hours. hours. 2.6 recurring hours. Yeah, something like that. Uh, great. Uh, so you get... Nice. Uh, you're healed. You'll heal up in, in a little less than three hours. The reason I rolled nine dice, by the way, was uh, I put four motes into the stamina... Uh, sorry, into the um, resistance excellency. Great. You could have doubled your dice pool, right? Uh, yes, I could have, but I wanted to spend four peripheral instead of five personal. Ah, I see. So your cast mark flares to life. No, uh, I used four peripheral, oh. and that's under the threshold of five. <laughs> You're no fun. <laughs> yes, I know. Um, when you do sit down, however, uh, the the essence sensitive users can feel a difference in the air. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So everyone in the house notices something. So, Darius, I understood you wanted to do some B and E. Do you want to be some E? Yes, I'm going to share that with the party though first. Uh, I, actually, I'm going to. His balls uh, are in prison. Say the party. <laughs> my results on following my balls are in prison have been unsuccessful. It appears he's not left, despite me showing up in the very early hours of the morning and staying till late. So it is possible he has not left his place since the interview? Yes. That is concerning. I I could find almost nothing on Shelley. Her death is not in the papers. Uh, there was one, uh, a and I must stress this is not evidence but speculation. Uh, there was a man killed in a car accident on the same day. His name was Trevor Salwood. Uh, he has past drunk driving uh, a history, shall we say. A tenuous that, information to base an investigation on, but... That uh, co corroborates, corroborates? Corroborates. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, with uh, the investigation of the scene, I did. I didn't get a name or anything, but the driver was definitely drunk and distracted. So, uh, yeah. Well, 
I want to Darius. pay him a wellness check. Darius, why don't you and I suit up and go have a look? I should probably stay away. Uh, James, we talked about this, but it's uh, mm-hmm. probably not a good idea for me to be seen anywhere around his apartment. Yep. Wait, but what if he doesn't answer the door? <laughs> <laughs> Laugh Poor sweet task. innocent Ben. <laughs> ben, I do not believe this is going to be a legal wellness check. <clears throat> believe they intend to break into his home. Should we run into trouble, one of you might get a call from a private number. Uh, please answer it. They will let you know if we need help. Understood. Is there a code? Uh, no. They know who they're calling. Very well. Oh. Is there a code so that we know they are the correct person? This look of confusion goes over Darius's face as to why he hadn't thought of that. <laughs> I have. Hmm. I mean, not you currently. Have people, Darius should know better than to not ask for a password. Not currently. There will be in the future. Thank you. Uh, if you have, if you have time to come up with one, tell them to ask for. Um, um, uh, tell them to ask for. Um, shoot! 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 Oh, OC. Can't think of something. Somebody come up with an interesting passphrase. Uh. Hmm. Chutney. Piggy bank? Uh, ask for Mr. Green. That works. Ask for Mr. Uh, Green. Oh, I thought it would be Chutney. No. If, uh. If you guys ever get a text from me or anyone reminding you to walk the dog, we're in trouble, but we can't say anything. Noted. How about I that? Think... Okay. That works. But, uh, I got a Remind question. Me. Oh, yeah, sorry, go ahead. I have a question. Yeah. Um, yes. what if you get arrested? Yeah, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Yep. <laughs> ben just kind of, like, raises his hands in about to object, but then it's just like, what, fuck it. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess I'll stay here with Mercy. I will be here as well. Um, however... Here. Um... Uh... Question. Given that lore is the computer's skill, what can I have in terms of, um... uh, And also I have resources. What can I have in terms of things that I can watch through, tech that I could place on them, body cam sort of things, uh, streaming info so that those of us back here um, can see you you could have you could reasonably have like body cams and and things like that but the actual the best way to um or not necessarily the best way but probably the easiest way to uh get like body cam footage of someone from afar is to video call them and have them put their cell phone in their pocket facing out basically that um, he'll, he'll probably just have a, a, a way to connect the body cam into it so that they don't have to have the phone sticking out or, or carefully. Yep, we can get those. Uh, that. Uh, he's going to hand them, uh, he's going to hand everybody one of these, and he says, If you want me to be available to. Ooh, Autocathon like that. Offer con- uh, commentary. Uh, just How inventive. Help. He's just like us. Use these, and um, they'll just give them each like a really simple Bluetooth held headset, like like ear uh, ear cage. Nice. Ooh. I've always wanted to have the guy in the chair. That's I've nice. been preparing for some time. I figured you were going to do something dangerous, or at the very least, uh, questionably legal. So you Darius spy stuff. Speaking of which, hey uh, Darius. Uh want to come down to the uh <laughs> well my room i've got a i've got a disguise uh well i've got a bunch of clothes that i've gathered from places in case we needed a good disguise i may have the same excellent i'm glad, <laughs> I'm glad you and i are operating on the same page this joe blinks a few times I didn't really expect to walk into a spy movie, but uh, here we are. (laughs) 
So I would like to craft myself a disguise. Uh, ooh, like using the crafting skill. Uh, uh, no, it is dexterity and um, lar larceny. Yeah, it'd be larceny. Okay. Um, <laughs> they are, yeah. I may have to change one of my specialties to match that, because I've got disguises stealth, but I'll change that over to larceny. Um, dis uh, stealth is more like uh, is more like your ability to either uh, physically hide yourself or uh, not escape notice, not um, misdirected. You know what I mean? Okay. Larceny Sorry. is is kind of more like pickpocketing and misdirection. Camouflaging okay. a vehicle or something would be survival, and that's really the only exception. Cool. Yeah. Uh, so. Also, usually Sorry. a vehicle has has horse balls and nays. Uh, larceny and... Um, I'd say either dexterity or intelligence, your choice. Oh, let's go with intelligence. Man, I got a sudden urge to watch a James Bond movie. <laughs> I have a sudden urge to do something that won't be available when this stream ends. Six, uh, six successes. Nice. Uh, so James gets a disguise on, and when he comes back in the room, uh... If not for the fact that you guys knew that uh, that he uh, was putting on a disguise, you would think that you were being home invaded. How do I add personal? How do I add moats? Uh, you uh, just roll more dice, my man. Oh, okay. So you have to do a custom roll. I don't think you do, um, but I don't know what the mechanism is. I haven't played around with the character sheet very much yet. Uh, you probably just add like bonus dice question mark. I think it's the first uh, thing yeah, that you get. Yeah, it is get. bonus dice. Okay, I didn't think of doing it that way. Yo, ni yo lo creo. You look completely different. <laughs> I've been doing this for a long time, there, Joe. <laughs> an interesting skill for will... a <laughs> an interesting skill for a reporter, but I suppose uh, some places are safer than others for uh, for a journalist. I, I mean, it's at least it's not the brown suit from when we crashed the politician's party. That was just oh, awful on you. Don't remind me of the brown suit. <laughs> Let me get my brown suit. Uh, <clears throat> Jeeves, get me my brown pants. <laughs> uh, what this is successes is for disguise? Is it seven and up? Uh, the, the target number is always seven unless something something bullshit. Uh, so... Eight successes? Uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and you have nine there. Um, because ten's double. Unless... Whoa, so wait. that's eight. Um, are you including... Are these bonus dice that you're rolling? Yes. So they don't include your, your original roll? No, they should have been a part of my original roll. They, like... Yeah, so... Yeah, All together you have eight. Sorry, yeah, I yeah. was miscounting that. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, yes, that's eight, not nine. Uh, so yeah, um, <laughs> Darius comes out and uh, and being blown away by seeing James, you straight up don't recognize the woman that Darius has become. Oh. <laughs> uh, I'm so confused right now. Uh, one of the most notable features is that his eye color has changed again now to a lighter gold. Darius, do you like have any? Gold. Do you have any uh, smaller weapons that we can take? I need need a gun of some sort. Small, yep. Yeah. Something that isn't going to go through walls. Fungible rounds. <clears throat> I will go upstairs to the armory and grab both non-lethal and lethal rounds for James and bring him down a uh, What the fuck is a non-lethal is... round? What? Rubber? The, oh, you, okay. Those are called less lethal. Just less FYI. Less lethal rounds, yes. Uh, less lethal for rounds. For a very good reason. Yes. Um, if you shoot one of those directly at someone, it's just called a bullet. Uh, <laughs> you're supposed to skip them off the ground, which, fun fact, right, please don't know. See, example, the states. Less lethal rounds. You don't have to go that far. Uh, the, the anyway. Problem, the problem uh, is I'm trained to shoot center mass, so that's going right in his dick. Just when, saying. When, when Joe... When, 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 when Darius leaves the room, 
Joe kind of like leans over to James and says, guns? Really? Look, I don't want to hurt anyone, but I need to come back from this. It's a precaution, not a, not a plan. You, does he have something like a taser? <laughs> yeah, I have a baton. <laughs> yes, for a gun, though. <laughs> I'm not there, so. Yeah. It's not a bad idea. So, uh, listen, I uh, oh, uh, out of que- uh, out of character question, how far in town is that place from here? Uh, it's actually pretty close. He lives right downtown, and you guys are just on the other side of the bridge there. Okay. Um, he, Joe says, "I will, I will make you a deal. If either of you is in danger, I will show up." in minutes, if not seconds. Uh Uh-huh, says the guy with the cracked ribs. Not for long. How long do you uh, how long do you intend to wait before going in? I intend to watch for before going in. I I was gonna head out now. Mm. I might need a few hours, but well, I am. uh... Don't you need to case the joint or something? I think Darius has been doing that for the last week. Yeah, true. Fine. Don't worry, Joe. If if they get into shit, I'll go check on them. I'll Fine. put a, shul- a hand on Joe's shoulder. Don't worry, man. This is what we do. Don't kill anyone. I will do yeah. my utter best not to hurt anyone. Uh, James, when you turn around to leave, you accidentally bump into someone and they fall down the stairs. Uh, they hit the ground with a wet splat. Uh, just Curse as, me! Uh, just as Joaquin is about to scold you, uh, he lifts his right arm and knocks over a woman with a stroller, uh, both of which fall down the same stairs, so he no longer has the moral high ground. Uh-huh, there we go. <laughs> Uh, so... Oh, Gratikin, I have the moral high ground. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, also, don't get arrested because I don't have the money to pay your bail. Mercy has access to my money. She can get me out if needed. That's out if needed. Abigail will get me out if need be. Somewhere in the distance, uh, Abigail, Abigail screams no. <laughs> <laughs> Abigail would let you sit there for 24 hours and think about your problems and then get you out. Okay, uh, we taking your car or mine? You drive a Jeep? Yep. Mine. Okay, let's go. <laughs> okay, so the two of you head up. Uh, what is everyone else going to be doing during this time? Sitting at home, doing nothing? Sitting and healing. Okay. I would much rather that Ben be available to go help them than, uh, and, and in, you know, fine, fine form than me. Okay. So. Ben's going to throw on a James Bond movie. I have something okay. better for you. Uh, I'm going to cast their uh, body cams to the TV. All right, that's cool. Oh, uh, but do no I need to roll lore? Real crime. I make it to s- cast something? No, okay. <laughs> no! <laughs> I mean, cool. so it's a very cool. smart, smart TV. Cool. IRL, I'm envious um, <laughs> of my character. <laughs> Because um, he knows how to cast things, or of the TV? Of the TV. Okay, thank God. <laughs> no, I know how to cast things. But um, long story short, uh, I'll, I'll, he'll, he'll make it split screen with the James Bond movie. Okay, sure. <laughs> uh, now I need you to roll uh, lore. Difficulty is going to be 14 successes. Okay. No. <laughs> I mean, I can't. Technically, that is pretty accurate. Uh, splitting a screen like that while casting a device is not easy. But I'm yeah. just going to hand wave it because that's not very fun. So, uh, all right. You guys are sitting back watching TV while uh, James and Darius go out and do all the hard work. So, uh, <laughs> you didn't need to roll lore, buddy. I'm teasing. Uh, so you guys arrive at the apartment block um, in just a few minutes. You don't even have time to stop for coffee, really. 
and, and you find it as exactly the way you'd expect it to. People walking by on the street, uh, there's some people entering and exiting the building, but other than that, it's quiet. Uh, Paul's uh, apartment is dark. Darius, what do your elf eyes see? <laughs> uh, is there... During this week, have I been able to smell the scent of ozone on the air any no. more? Just that one time? Just the once. Am I able to, like, attune my ears to a specific spot? Or is it just I hear everything around me? You hear everything around you. You can try and strain and listen for something specific. Okay. Uh, I will do that. And listen. try to listen for any noise. It's going to be really difficult, I imagine, coming from his uh, apartment building. Yeah, you, you strain your ears really hard, but over just the mass of people that are around you on the street and in the building, you can't make out any distinct sounds from Paul's apartment. Okay. Which is how I'm saying I can't. that it's silent it's... up there. Ba -ba 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 -ba. are off. I can't hear anything either. Ah. Okay. Good to know. Um, well... Let's go, uh, go see what we can find out then. Uh, gonna walk up to the front door and see if it'll let me in. Okay, uh, so you get up to the front door and right about the same moment, uh, a man with brown hair is just exiting the building. He's like, oh, you, uh, and he points to the door. Yeah, thanks. Really appreciate it. He's like, yeah, no problem. And then, uh, as you guys get in, he turns and walks away. Look at how accurate this is. <laughs> that was uh, eight fold paths joined. That's in case true. you didn't pick up on that black one. Uh, gonna check the like. Oh, it gets after better. After the fellow has it gets better. I got plans. Uh, disappeared around the corner or whatever. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to pop outside again and check the registry to find out which is Paul's apartment. Sure. Um, so you see P and S uh, at Fields uh, up on the fifth floor. Cool. Fifth floor. Let's go. Ready? You see, they we might need head a up to the fifth floor. I'm gonna keep my mask on until. Actually, I'm just gonna keep my mask on in general because cameras and shit. Mm. Okay. Okay. Yeah, penis at Field. So front door. Uh, his uh, front door? His yeah. Front door. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what are you going to do with it? I'm going to press my ear up against it and see if I can hear anything in there. Okay. Uh, you put your ear to the door, but you don't make out any sounds in there. Um, actually, now that you're close, it's kind of notable how silent the, the apartment is. There's no, like, background hums that you'd expect. Is there a scent on the air? Uh, like any sort of rotting, anything like that? Yep, it, uh, it has begun to stink to high hell in there. Well, uh, I'm going to warn James of this. It's it's not going to smell good in there, James. Good to know. Uh, well, I'll try the door. All right, it's unlocked. Shit. And I'll walk in. All right, you're immediately assaulted by the smell of uh, decay, rot, uh, and uh, the uh, you can see that uh, the fridge has obviously been off for a few days, uh, and there's uh, also a uh, a um, uh, uh, odor emanating from an open door that you assume is the bathroom. Hey, congratulations, Blackthorn. Okay. We've got, uh... We've clearly got dead body. Gonna Congrats, it. Quickly Ed. peek in. Hecky. Yeah. How many rooms are in the apartment? There's just uh, four. It's a two-bedroom apartment. I'm gonna check uh, both of the bedrooms while he checks the bathroom. Okay. Uh, so it's pretty clear that one of the uh, rooms is the bedroom that they used, and one of them is a, a home office. The uh, bedroom that they used looks like no one's been in there in more than three days, um, and the 
uh, or more than more than a week, really. And uh, the office, uh, you, when you opened the door, you got the faint, Im- you got the distinct impression no one had been in there in a while. It just smelled stale. Careful not to touch anything, Darius. I won't. Did you find uh, anything? Besides did, from... did I find anything? Yeah, when you peek your head in the bathroom, you see Paul's soup in the uh, bathtub, and you can see a cord leading from the wall into the bathtub. Uh, the smell is absolutely horrific, and you can see uh, quite the number of maggots and flies blowing around his body. Okay, gonna tilt my body away and... Uh, well... Shit. Not gonna happen, uh, Blackthorn, I got something better. I'm gonna start investigating. Cause... Let's, let's go ahead and case the scene. Okay, great. Um, real quick though, we're gonna cut back to the apartment. Um, so, at the condo, uh, there's a knock <sighs> at the door. I'm going to um, cut the stream, uh, and it's going to switch to just a James Bond movie. Okay. Uh, we've just seen the body. Uh, yeah, it. yeah, you did. Uh, uh, um, Joe starts to get up, and then just kind of like winces. It says, "Ben, can you get that?" There is a people. Oh, ben has a small garbage can near his mouth. Yeah, I'll I'll go get that. So. Um. He just kind of pats him on the on the shoulder. Um, I'm fine. Just just stick with Joe. I'll go. I'll go see who it is. Okay. He goes downstairs. And is there is there like a peephole in this there door? Is, yes. Okay, he's gonna look through the peephole. Okay, uh, you see a kind of bland-looking uh, white guy with a short haircut. Uh, standing on the other side of the door. He's standing, uh, his bearing makes you think he might be military police, something like that. Hmm. He, Francis is, he, he unlocks and opens the door, but okay. keeps his foot up, so it braces it, so only like an inch or two of the door opens. Okay, he um, goes, he says, uh, good afternoon, uh, good afternoon. He says, good afternoon, my name is uh, Agent Charles Donahue. I'm, I'm here to speak with um, uh, one uh, Mercy. Is she in? Um, I'm not sure. Give me a second. He closes the door. Wait, says I open it. Uh, what do you uh, need to talk to Mercy for? Uh, I would just need to ask her some questions and we'll need her to come in. I'm uh, I'm trying to come here as kind of a, you know, do you mind just coming in uh, rather than doing this in any official capacity? Uh, uh just give me a Probably second. Probably be we'll easiest look. if you'd let me speak with her. Uh, okay. What's been going on? Something happened? Uh, yeah, quite a few somethings actually, but uh, if you, may I come in or, or could you bring uh, Mercy out? I, I don't want to intrude, I'm just... Like I said, uh, I'm here as kind of a, kind yeah, of a. Yeah, no, no worries. Just stay right here. I'll, uh, I'll go see if she's in. Closes and locks the door. Okay. Goes back upstairs. So, uh, Mercy. Mm-hmm. Uh, looks like some fancy officer guy is here to talk to you. All right, pattern spiders. Let's uh, have apparently, some fun. a lot of stuff has happened. Okay. What do you um... want to do about this? You know what? I'm just gonna have to go talk to him. I think. Um, uh, all right. I'll I'll be right here. behind you. Uh, Joe hands her one of the uh, like Bluetooth headsets. It's a pretty subtle one. It just wraps around the ear. Could be like a hearing aid uh, or even more subtle. Um, but no, he's uh, he he hands okay. her that and says, "I'll be listening." Okay. Uh, here and he called it. Can I put it in her? Um, she takes a necklace out and hooks it on the necklace. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, and just puts it back under her shirt. Can you still hear that? Yes. Uh, can you hear me? Not really, but it'll be fine. I All think. Right. 
worst case scenario, you hear me and you hear if I'm in trouble. Sounds good. I'll be listening. Hmm. Alright. Ben Ben goes with you down back down the stairs and opens the door. Hi. Yes. Uh, hi there. I'm sorry to bother you, but uh, I have to come in and, and ask that you answer some questions. I'm uh, my name is Agent Charles Donahue. Um, I'm with the RCMP, and we're we're looking into some things here. So uh, I was going to ask, would you mind coming down to the local station here and answering some questions? Uh, absolutely. Could you tell me what it's about, though? Uh, certainly. So uh, you've been involved with uh, some criminal activity. I understand that, just to be clear, you're, you're on the, the good guy side of it. Mm. But um, there have been some questions as to, as to your conduct, and we just need to you know, get to the bottom of it, see uh, who you've been associating with and, and that sort of thing so that we can uh, answer some outstanding questions that the police and the government have. Did that come through? I did. I Not at all. Back and, okay. Uh, of course, I'd be happy to. Great. Um, uh, so if you and, you and your friends could just come down to the station, I'd appreciate it. Uh, it's just me and uh, she gestures to Ben. Okay, great. Uh, if you guys could come down, that'd be that'd be great. Yeah, yeah, no problem. I'll step out and close the door behind him. That's uh, uh, before he leaves. It's just the regular station downtown, yes. Yep, yep. We've got an interview room set up, and put aside for us. I got coffee on already. Mm, thank you so much. Yep. Well, this is not a very pleasant experience, so I'm going to try and fix that as much as I can. Of course. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll meet you down there. Uh, do you, can you get down there and say he looks at his watch? Uh, half an hour? Half an hour, forty five minutes. It depends on the call would crawl, of course. And she kind of chuckles. Aki, you're nowhere near Callwood. No, but you're... the call would crawl starts at downtown. Yeah, uh, having it's worked true. downtown, okay, it absolutely I, I, it's does. Fair enough. I don't know. Uh, I don't go downtown. That place sucks. So. Uh... He says, uh, based he, on traffic. He chucks. Yes. Yeah, uh, try and use traffic in the future. Some of our viewers mm. aren't going to understand that at all. <laughs> the traffic crawl. The the bad traffic time. Crawl. Bad traffic. Bad. Mm. Uh, he says he chuckles. He's like, yeah, of course. Uh, if you tell you what, be in in the next hour, and, and we'll we'll call it fair. Of course. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. Uh, here, he hands you his card. If you have any difficulties you need to uh, let me know, or you know you have any questions of your own, just call my number here. Of course, thank you. And Mercy closes the door. Okay, and you, uh, wait, I'm guessing you immediately and look I through the people. And I walk the door, and yes, I do. Okay, you see him actually immediately turn and leave. Hmm. Uh, he does pull out a notebook from his pocket as he does so. Okay, uh, can you type out his name in the chat so that I can add it to notes? I uh, may yeah, have put it in tabletop chat. Uh, is it D? Uh, did I spell it correctly? Um, it's D O N A G H U. Neither of us spelled it correctly. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I googled it, so this is one of the various spellings. You googled well, it. Jordan, I, did you base this off a real person? I no, came no, no. up I with googled it off the, the top of my Donahue. head. So <laughs> Don fucking. Donahue is a. Uh, You've is officially a done more research than the DM on this guy's <laughs> name. <laughs> Jordan no. shoves the uh, visa application papers under this guy's name. Uh, just completely randomly came up with this name. Uh, definitely don't know his sin number or anything. Uh, it's it's um, just sin, actually. ATM machine. Stop. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, stop. I have edited it in know. tabletop chat, so... No. Um... Ooh, I didn't like that. <laughs> okay, thank you for adding it in tabletop chat. Uh, so, Mercy comes back in the room uh, with Ben. I blah, like, I, I know Joe was listening in, but I blah what's happening. I don't know about you guys, but this is smelling fishy. I... I'm actually surprised it took them this long to come and talk to me, to be completely honest. Um, I've been going to 
fairly well-known like criminal organizations and asking them to please stop what they're doing so all right let's cut back to uh the the uh the apartment uh so you guys are casing the joint yeah uh i'd like to stunt this the tv is back do. on now that the, our visitor is gone but yeah cool it's gruesome horror porn uh, yeah. And goes to his room. Uh, Tell me when it's over. Okay. Wait, didn't Dante. then go with Mercy? They haven't left yet. Yeah, but we came back in. Oh, sorry. Then then Joe's not going to turn it back on. He saw what happened to Ben. Sorry, I. OOC, I didn't realize they haven't left yet. Ah, uh, okay, okay. He's just like watching it on his phone and just like also trying not to, to, to throw up. Okay. Anyway, uh, you wanted to stunt this, James? Yeah. So, um, out of one of the pockets of James' disguise comes an old-fashioned uh, eyeglass. Like the, you know, what you would expect from a uh, Sherlock Holmesian uh, fan and is going to start going through each room as though he were a mother looking for pot. Uh, he's going to uh, rifle through uh, papers and find anything that could even be possibly linked to each of us or James's or sorry, Paul's uh, condition or his mood, anything that would explain a change in his um, his actions beyond, you know, the fact that his wife just died. Um, he's going to just open himself to up to every possibility that this room could possibly hold. And let it whiz through his brain at high speed. Okay. You can have uh, <clears throat> uh, one stunt die. Okay. I'm also going to use uh, ten magistrate eyes and crafty observation method. I see that. Okay. So I'm going to need you to roll perception investigation. Yep. Uh, it's with one automatic success. Uh, and as far as as far as using uh, the sorry one second uh, crafty observation method, literally what happened is, as far as you can tell is he walked in the room, got in the bathtub, fully dressed, turned it on, and waited with his toaster that was already plugged in when he got home until the bathtub had filled and he just dumped it in just the second he got home. Sorry, the the toaster was already in the washroom and plugged in? Yes. Huh. Like he had okay. set this up ahead of time. Okay. That's suspicious as hell. No, he was um, just very sad. So four successes. Um, Oof. And, and uh, for if I had any additional successes um It'll be uh, a little better. Wife is looking at me. Also, was there and I can also automatically tell if there was an attempt to conceal evidence. There was not. Okay. okay. Wife is pretty. Joe's shaken voice comes over your uh, your um, earpiece. Um says he did not seem to me like someone who had completely given up, but I misjudged him completely. I misjudged him utterly. Uh, so, with four successes, you investigate around. Um, it seems like his life was pretty standard for a, a, a reporter of his caliber, right up until his wife's death. Uh, you have a, a, report, a police report that you find in his office. Uh, no, sorry, that you find in on the uh, kitchen table. It looks like it's been flipped through over and over and over and over again. Um, 
And one other detail you find is in the bathroom uh, garbage can, there are a, there's at least three negative pregnancy tests. But aside from that, as far as you can tell, this is just a sad man who lost his wife. Okay. I'm gonna put everything back where I found it as best I can. Okay. Um, um, I'd, I'd like to note that I'm wearing gloves as well. Good to know. Uh, hey, Darius, you have your your senses turned on, right? Yeah. Just to be clear, chat, she was not pregnant. Yes, uh, Okay, so you hear two uh, men in work boots, or, or thick boots, coming up the hallway towards the apartment. James, we have to go. Okay. Um, is there a fire escape? There is. Um, I'm, I'm going to quickly close and lock the door quietly, and then okay. I'll head over and head for the fire escape, I guess. Okay, uh, can I get you guys to give me a, uh, a dexterity and athletics or acrobatics? What was it? Athletics. Yeah, I think it's all athletics and... Correct. Yes. Yep, almost uh, like he was the perfect target to do something like this. I kind of want to wait and listen. Uh, okay. Where does the fire escape exit out onto? Uh, the street in front of the apartment building. Oh, so a major road. Yeah. You can't just hang out on a fire escape and not look. <laughs> no, you cannot. <clears throat> um, yeah, I will get down then. Okay, uh, so you guys climb down. I'm, I'm actually going to wave the check. It's meant for you guys to escape. You do it. You, you do exactly that, but the fire is legal action. I am going to require a dexterity and stealth from both of you as you try and escape, however. Cool. Let's... A reminder that excellencies exist. And some of you, at least 50% of you, are the cast of night. Uh, funnily enough, stealth is not one of my favorite skills. <clears throat> Uh, interesting. Well, you're not a, you're not the night cast though. You're the eclipse. Yeah. Uh, remind me again the cost on excellencies. One, One moat per extra die, up to okay. the uh, total dice you have in your pool unmodified. So if you've got three decks and three stealth, you can spend up to six moats to get six extra dice. Okay. Um, I will. I'm gonna also spend two extra to make this peripheral. Uh, moat or these peripheral moats. Okay. Uh, personal. So mode and then could have been worse. Yep. What's your stealth, James? Uh just give me one second, I'm just doing math. Uh I meant the stat, I got it. You're at yeah. four. Okay. Yeah, I'm four four, so I spent some of my XP to up my stealth this past week because I've been I've been trying to like stealthily follow a dude. Yeah, I think that's fine. Dude. I'd say that qualifies. If you were like, I wanted to up my firearms because I've been stealthily following a dude, I'd be like, no. Okay. Uh, so. How did you get three success? How many dice did you roll? A lot. Uh... Perfect stealth allows you to re-roll any stealth-based action preserving tens, so I'm going to do that as well. You should have five successes here. One, two, three. Oh no, four successes here. Yeah. No, three. Oh, four. Nine, bonus. eight, eight. Oh, uh, eight. nines. Oh, do nines? No. Nine, nines don't nine, double, no. but there's an eight, a nine, and two more eights. There's three eights and a nine. Okay. Uh, crafty observation meth? Oh no, that's up, not down. Uh, no, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm saying there should be four, not three. But at any rate, you can re roll it. Yeah, you get to re roll the whole thing. Yeah. So let's try that again. That's better. <laughs> yeah, that looks more like it. Great. Uh, uh, so Darius uh, climbs out and 
uh, with a minimum of sound, manages to sneak out the window. Uh, he gets outside uh, and starts and turns around to see where James is. And as he's turning, James leans, reaches across from him and closes the window quietly. <laughs> he was already outside. Yeah. <laughs> Snuck Gosh. around him while he was climbing out the window. <laughs> yes. Uh, the James came from inside the house. <laughs> anyway, um, so you climb down fairly easily and land on the street. Some people notice and look at you a little funny, but for the most part, they mind their business. Is anyone paying any attention? Not really, no. Good. Almost like the people on Earth know to mind their goddamn business. <laughs> um, looking around, is there a cop car or anything like that in the area? Yeah, there's a cop car parked right out front, uh, right under a sign that says no parking. This is, uh, uh, <clears throat> my immersion is uh, fully up to date. Yeah. It's just, that's very, very that's, immersive. The I really don't apply to no trust, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say that as I look at James. Sorry, what did you say? I really want to call a tow truck. Oh, uh, you guys know it's legal for police to park there in the pursuit of police business, right? Yeah, that's that. That is the joke. Okay, cool. <laughs> anyway, uh, so you, uh, hey mods, was this a bot? And anyway, I'm going to keep going while mods bicker among themselves. Okay, it was. Uh, so... Uh, your other mod is not in chat, Jordan. Uh, my other mod is absolutely in chat, and I just spoke with other mods. You've said mods. Uh... Yes, there's you, and then the other mod, who's in Twitch chat. Uh... You, you okay there, Aki? No. You need a hug? No. Anyway, um, uh, if I'm standing directly below, am I able to make out any sounds from the police? Um, yeah, so you hear you hear the door open now that you know what you're listening for. And before long, you hear uh, the, uh, the noise of a radio activating and a police officer speaking in a calm fashion. You can't make out the words. It's a little far for that, but um, they've obviously found the body. And we're going to cut back to Mercy and Ben, um, who are on their way to the police station. Are you guys walking or driving? Uh, car. Yeah. Probably be in Mercy's car. I don't have a car. So, uh, neither of you have so a car? We're, we're taking Do the you bus. wish to take mine? <laughs> Um, Joe, uh, Joe's gonna 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 toss his keys uh, out the window and then return to his seat on the couch, wincing. Okay. Uh, sorry, out you the toss window? the keys no. out the window. Out the window. <laughs> to to you know them. You're in the penthouse, right? Oh <laughs> uh, shoot. <laughs> All right. Uh, Lucky immediately <laughs> murders. Uh, <laughs> immediately murder, murders a pedestrian with a set of car keys. <laughs> I choked on my drink. <laughs> Someone else choked on the <laughs> Kia key car or car key. Anyways, you give him a Mercy would have said no. I would have just like walked there. Okay, uh, yeah. so you guys are going to be walking through the area right next to uh, Chinatown. Do you guys want to stop in there? Uh, no, not really. I don't think I don't think Ben's brother needs to know that he's going to the police station. Okay, fair enough. Mm -hmm. Um, can I get a uh, wits and awareness check from the two of you? Oh, all right. Here comes some more a fold paths joined. You ready, Pattern Spiders? Okay. See your coworker in action. I don't know how to do that now. Well, what's an awareness? Yeah, do I combine those and roll that many dice? Or so if you what? if you open your character sheet and go to yeah. and scroll down to where awareness is, if you change it yeah. from dex to uh, wit, and then click the d roll dice button, 
it should work. Okay. Uh, you need to go through a, f a couple... A couple pop-ups. ...things, so... <sighs> you don't I really don't have any bonus if... dice unless you're spending I... excellency. And you need to have uh, points it's in double... the scale. It is doubling on tens, and unless you have anything for... Um, Doubles on tens. All right. Automatic successes. Probably not. Zero. All right. You got equal successes. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Yay. Uh, so, uh, you both notice someone who looks like they might actually... They look like they're scared of something as you're walking by Chinatown. They keep looking over their shoulder. Uh, not at you, but just kind of uh, around them and they cut through an alley uh, very suddenly, almost seeming to start running as they do. So uh, are they through. running in a direction that is familiar to Ben? Like, towards yeah, a certain location? Not towards a specific location, just more towards the heart of Chinatown. Okay. And he's gonna disappear immediately. Mercy's gonna mm. immediately like, look at Ben and be like, we should help and starts um, trying to run after the person. Okay, uh, you catch up to the alleyway, but you don't see uh, the the man down it. Uh, it's possible he went further down because he uh, the the alley kind of twists and turns a little bit around some like storefronts. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Mercy's just gonna call down from the alley like, "Hello." Are there's okay? there's some people coming and going up and down the alley. Okay. Um, uh, ben will stop one of them. Uh, hey, did you see a guy run down here a moment ago, looking concerned? Um, the the guy turns and says, "Yeah, actually, I just uh, he looked uh, like he might be hurt or something," and he points down the uh, down the alleyway. That was also eight full past. All right, time. thank you. This and guy's charms, baby. Follows down that that direction, being cautious. Okay, uh, you continue down, and uh, eventually you come to a parking lot. A few rather dangerous-looking individuals are, are standing around, uh, kind of one of them's casing cars, quite obviously. Um, does Ben spent a lot of time in Chinatown when he was young, right? Yeah, he grew up there. Okay, you immediately recognize the tattoos that some of them have on. They're uh, long centipedes made of a gray metal. You know them as the Steel Centipede Gang, who are oh. real fucking territorial. Uh, I used to beat up these guys back when I was a kid. Oh, fuck. Um, Mercy, we should really should get back on our... should be going to the police place rather than dealing with this. If there's somebody that's hurt, that's looking, that needs help? Is is the guy that needs help there? No, he's nowhere to be seen. But as soon as you enter the parking lot, one of them uh, turns, points directly at you, Ben, and says, Hey, are you... Ah, oh, fuck. That little punk, he used to get in fights all the time. You're him, aren't you? Oh, you grew up. And uh, as uh... he turns, he smiles. And several of his friends start grinning too. You recognize that exact smile as the one that they would always put on when they tried to beat you or your brother up. Dude, I really, really don't have the time for this. He says, oh, I get it. You've moved on to bigger, better things. You don't have time for your hometown anymore. That makes sense. You know, you always were a piece of shit. And he keeps walking forward. Stand between... I can't select myself, Jordan. Interesting. Is that because... Oh, I, I can, I can I got show it. mine. I, I got it. There I we figured go. it out. I'm just stumped. Great. Um... So, Ben, you actually remember uh, the the ringleader. Yeah. Uh, his name is Billy, uh, and he always tried to go by Billy Stings. Okay. 
when he was younger, yeah. anyway. More like Billy stinks. <laughs> Do you say that out loud? Beat me to it by a second. <laughs> no, but he 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 remembers it. And he he. Okay. Kind of chuckles to himself. Um, the moment you recognize him and you kind of chuckle to yourself, he also realizes what you were thinking. Um, and uh, an ugly, ugly look spreads across his face, and he he looks back and says, "Hey, boys, this is the piece of garbage that used to try to beat up uh, your friend here." And he pats himself on the chest. Beat you up? Nah. Last I checked, last I checked, you were the one picking the fights. I was just the one finishing them. He says, "Well." I'm willing to let bygones be bygones. How about a little rematch, eh? Uh, you versus me and Terry and Jim over there and the rest of us. Why not? No. Uh, he looks at you and says, uh, uh, mm -mm, none of that. I know what you do. You say so much as a word. We're rushing your ass right now. I just did. You weren't. Uh, you could, you see like a look of like concern flash across his face for a second. And then he says, uh, it's because I just haven't told him to. And uh, he walks oh, forward so you're the, again. You're the, the big dog on campus, aren't you, then? He grins, damn straight. Why are you asking? I don't like bullies. I don't he, care where they come from. He walks forward again. He says, well, that's kind of too bad. because," And he immediately takes a cheap shot at Ben. Uh, we are going to go into combat next week. <laughs> what? Guys, it's it's 8.10 almost. If we if we did go into combat now, it won't be over. Fucking teasing me for sessions now. Uh, uh, in my defense, this was... You guys uh, wrapped up the past session, and you're now into the session I wrote for this session. So you're like, this was meant to start earlier. Okay. I, um, don't worry. Uh, you're gonna get your combat right as soon as session starts next week. But we're gonna jump back to, uh, to Joaquin. What are you doing, Joaquin? Hmm. He's, he's gonna, he's just gonna be, like, watching split screen of two of these guys. Oh, hang on. Uh, the two of them are returning already, right? Yeah. Hey, um, James, Darius. Yo. I, uh, don't believe you'll need your guns, but it seems like Mercy and Ben... I suppose. ...are about to need some, uh, to need a hand carrying some unconscious gang members. Why would you say that? Because I know what Ben is capable of. Sure, and but... I uh, suspect what Mercy is capable of but neither of them were anywhere near you when they got into that fight. No, uh, but I'm listening to, to, to everything that's going on with Mercy, remember? Oh, right, that's true. Uh, okay. I've, got my, I've got my laptop yep. open. Nope. And it's like that's fair, I just forgot. You're correct. I'm, I'm very bad. wrong. I'm willing to eat that one. Mmm, hey, crow, delicious. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Where are Do you prefer the... owl? <sighs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to. Yeah, yeah, I get it, I get it. Oh god. Uh the what? pattern spiders enjoyed that. Um uh, sorry guys. What uh Okay, sorry. Let let me butt out of this scene here. Oh no. Um James Where Darius, they? they may need a hand carrying some unconscious gang members. Where are they, Joe? Chinatown it looks like. Uh it, uh, it, uh, I'll get you a, a GPS location in. Uh, your phone gets a ping with a like a Google Maps um, pin. I look, at my, I look at my phone. I look at Darius. You ready? Chinatown Arcade? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I will drive still safely, but like just a yeah, little bit safely more. like an asshole i get it yeah safely like an asshole <laughs> i'm not Perfect. technically breaking any laws but i will get there faster uh that is actually a myth uh it, it you should head out earlier if you plan to arrive on time i'm sorry that i'm not psychic 
Yeah, uh, how dare you. Hey, Lemon Tart, good I'll, to see you. Uh, I'll check my gun. All right, uh, it is still a firearm. Make sure that the safety your, is What's on. your archery skill? Uh, fairly good, I seem to remember. Uh, good to see you, Lemon Tart. Uh, four? Okay, so uh, you're carrying a 38 special with uh, standard low power rounds. Uh, so you, it doesn't have a safety, not really. Uh, what it does have, though, is that you have to draw the hammer back to begin firing. And while it's dual action, you do need to start the initial firing, so the safety is built into the into the hammer. But, uh, yeah, you know it's safe. You're not too worried. Uh, you also know it's loaded, which uh, probably makes you uncomfortable. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, oh, well. No you problem, Lemon Tart. I was actually going to raid you after the stream. But... Nope. So, uh, you guys head over to Chinatown, and uh, what are you going to do, Joaquin? Just be the man in the chair? I will be the man in the chair. All right. I think that that is where we will wrap it up for today. This seems like a natural break point. What was the, the game called? Steel Centipedes. I and like sporting. What was the, the name of the, the one guy? Was it just a nickname? Um... It's what he was known as. Uh, ben never learned his actual name, but it's it's yeah. Billy Stings. He Billy wanted to Stings. be a, he wanted to be a centipede since he was a kid, and it looks like he got it. Yeah. So let me just switch oh something around here. I'm very sorry for teasing and cucking you, Ben. Uh, <laughs> I, that was not Should've my known. intent, just so you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, Still enjoyed it. <laughs> I'm so, okay, wait. Did you say Thank I you. enjoyed it or that you enjoyed no, it? No, you enjoyed okay. it. Okay, okay, that makes more sense. Because I heard I still enjoyed it, and I was like, okay. Uh, I'm, glad, <laughs> make, I'm glad that makes you happy. Uh, anyway. <laughs> oh, uh, everyone, say hi. We're we're being visited by Lemon Tart, Deadly Lemon Tart. Hello, hello. Good friend we of the channel. We just finished a stream of uh, some exalted stuff, which started with, oh, let's try out our neat powers, and ended with, I guess we're beating up a gang on the way to um to talk to the police. Talk to the police. To talk to the police. Yes. Joy. Joe, just so you know, car doesn't isn't a gun, so I can just hit them with the car. That is technically <laughs> correct. <No>. Yes. <laughs> weapon. <laughs> you guys uh, can't hear Joe's facial expression, <laughs> but... Alright, so it is the end of the night, guys. We're gonna do the same thing we do every week, which is, uh, players, you get to vote for who your favorite player of the night was, and the Pattern Spiders, that's you, chat, get to pick their favorite, or their best friend for the night. Uh, so I believe we will see a poll go up like magic because I have good friend mods who will do that sort of thing for me. Uh, and uh, in the meantime, let's talk uh, there. All right, uh, my screen should be spoiler free. So feel free to jump into chat guys, but um, Okay, we'll go from right to left, because we started with left to right. Uh, Darius, who is your favorite player of the night? James, uh, honestly, the request for a gun took me completely off guard. Okay. Darius was pretty reserved to the fact that he was going to be likely the only one willing to actually kill somebody in the group, if needed. Uh, and then I got asked for a gun, and I was like, oh, uh... That was a shock. All right. Well, you know, God's kind of fuzzy on kneecaps. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Thank you for that reference. I love that. All right. Uh, James, who would you like to vote for? Uh, I'm going to vote for Ben uh, for um, what is probably going to be one of the most uh, popular TikTok videos in a while uh, <laughs> with his getting smashed on the bed. So, oh my uh, god. Uh, we need context because some people have joined the chat since that right. scene. 
So, no. Uh, all right, you no know what? Context. Uh, Mercy smashed on the bed. Mercy smashed <laughs> Ben smashed. so hard on the bed that uh, in front of the whole group, that the nails, and he didn't even get nailed. Yeah, uh, he didn't get nailed, but he did get a few ribs broke. Uh, man, does his do his abs hurt? Jesus Christ! Hey, man, <laughs> just consider it revenge for what he did to Darius. He, he got smashed, but he didn't get nailed. This is correct. Oh my yep. God! This is cursed. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, uh, Mercy. Uh, oh my god, it, it is so hard to pick. Uh, I like... Uh... I have to give it to, um, Ben tonight for the, um, just the fact that, like, they found a body, and just the nice little touch of, like, Ben has a... A garbage can, and also just Ben's entire character. I just, I love that we've got a himbo in the party. I have to say that. It's just, Ben's just such a delight. So I want to reward that. And not just because uh, I smashed you. Ben. Uh, Alright. Uh, ben, uh, with your broke-ass ribs, who would you like to vote for? Sorry, hey, they're what? not broke anymore. Ribs? Oh, you Thank know what? You Fair enough. With your that. previously <laughs> broke-ass ribs. Yeah. Ah. Uh, I gotta... <laughs> sorry, sorry. I Mercy gotta... smashed Ben and and broke Joe's ribs. God, and Joe yeah, came out, yeah. out of it with broken ribs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I kind of... It's, it's kind of a, a, a toss-up between Joe for that and James for his awesome Sherlock Holmes impression. Mm. Yeah, I think was... I'm going to I'm I'm going to give I'm going to give it to James for the the old fashioned uh, investigation. Okay. Uh Sam, who you want to vote for? I am uh, equally going to vote for James for that and from the the James came from inside the house. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Just uh, s- s- sneaking around Darius while he's sneaking out the window. That was pretty funny. That was uh, excellent. So, James, uh, that is you, Scald. You get a point of uh, solar XP on top of the standard, which is going to be, uh, I think, two and two. Uh, you can have two so- uh, regular XP, two solar XP. James can have three solar XP. And uh, for tonight... Good old friend uh, Joaquin wins the chat vote. Uh, you are the Pattern Spider's best friend tonight, uh, which is, of course, a reward all on its own, but you also get a point of regular XP. Muchas gracias, chat. Uh, muchas gracias, Pattern Spiders. I wouldn't thank them if I were you. The Pattern ah. Spiders continue to fuck you guys over in ways you don't see. <laughs> está bien, está bien. We, we're, we're, we're exalts. We pretty much expect it at this point. Are they the reasons the cop shows up? Cops showed up? I am not going to confirm or deny anything. God damn it. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, All right, so, so how much do us normal people get? Uh, two regular XP and anything? two solar. Okay. You guys are basically doing what I expect you to, so you get two and two. Okay. Um, Yay! If you do things that impress me, you get more. If you play like Curse of Strahd, you get less. Anyway, uh, so let's uh, let's start some uh, some chats about uh, about tonight. We'll do some some chatting and wild mass guessing. Uh, feel free to include your blue booking in this. Oh, I will mention we are picking up immediately after tonight's session next week. So I get a week off of blue booking. This was not planned that way. It was simply pointed out to me after and I smiled broadly. No, no, it's just a happy coincidence uh, for me and no one else. Anyway, (laughs) um, so let's just to fuck with the order, I'm gonna pick you at random starting with Mercy. Because uh, Mercy's picture is in the middle. No. So, uh, uh, thoughts in Wild Mass Guessing? Uh, yes, I am. And also, Wild Mass Guessing, um. No, nothing. Nothing yes. for that. No, I, I did get that you're a thought. That is just <laughs> facts, though, so I didn't laugh or anything. That would have been. <laughs> that would have been really, uh, inappropriate of me. Not very supportive okay. friend. Uh. So. Wild Bass guessing. 
Um, I, uh, oh no, I was right for the worst bath bomb. Yeah, you were. Uh, you <gasps> predicted it last week, too. <laughs> Angry blackthorn noises, I'm, I'm thinking. Um, but, uh, I'm hoping that uh, we don't murder any mortals uh -huh. in this next session with our extra strongness. Uh huh. Well, uh, just don't. And, then. Uh, yeah, just don't. Uh, that way, you'll still have a twilight in your party. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, it was made his position very clear to literally everyone. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to kind of the first combat session. Um, mm -hmm. I know it's it's been quite a while since I've done exalted combat, so it's like oh, there's gonna be jank. Gonna, yeah, it, it's I I'm fully expecting the whole combat session to take like or the whole session to be combat because uh, you're gonna need to explain combat. So. It's possible. Yeah. However, a good thing about third edition is, if we if things are kept simple, it might be shorter than you expect. It might still take the whole session. We'll yeah. see. We'll see. Uh, okay. And then I'm gonna go. Ooh, let's do it this way. Now I'm gonna go right, and then I'm gonna go left, and then I'm gonna go right, and then I'm gonna go left. Okay. James. Uh. You know. I, I'm gonna be optimistic. I think the police want Mercy's help. And I think that, uh, you know, maybe they're gonna form a, a, a special unit around Mercy. A Mercy to, task uh, group. Yeah. To uh, help use her powers to make the world a better place. Um, interesting take. Interesting take. Yeah. I'm sure that's what it is. <laughs> Aside from that, uh, yeah, I can't wait to see uh, Ben just, you know, five point palm exploding heart technique these guys. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. Oh! yeah, just insta give them. Uh, oh no. All right, fair enough. Uh, speaking of people who can insta give mortals, Ben. Um, fun fact. Ben is a pacifist, uh -huh. even nice. though he is the tank of the party. Emphasis on fist. But, um, yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> uh, I, th I think he's going to enjoy um, run. Like he didn't. He mostly just wanted to get to the police station and not cause any trouble. But I think he'll get this internal glee of beating up old enemies. Though he's definitely going to do it very lightly. Because okay. he doesn't actually want to hurt them. He just wants to stop them from fighting. Okay. But as for, as for the whole uh, dead uh, Paul thing and the police being involved, um, I think something's going to happen and they're going to try and blame Mercy for it. Mm. I, I'm a bit of a pessimist when it comes to the police. <laughs> Fair enough. I wonder why. And w no. Yeah, and with what Paul did in that interview, I wouldn't be surprised if whatever was controlling him or commanding him had this in mind. Hmm. Like, it's a little suspicious that he went from, you know, doing this character assassination interview to instantly offing himself. Yeah, I mean, like, why would he do that? premeditated offing himself. Mm. Yeah, it's so weird. And, and that, all of a sudden, a before the police wife would do yeah, that. Yeah, there, there is that. But it's weird how the police wanted to contact Mercy and ask her for questioning mm -hmm. before his body was even found. Yeah, that is either weird or a coincidence, one of the two. Yeah, exactly. It's weird or a coincidence. Hmm. So, I don't know. Well, uh, the police are not exalted, so chances are that's a coincidence. Yeah. 
I uh, gathered that they were actually asking her about stuff that may have been revealed in the interview about, like, her family and stuff. Maybe. Who knows? Maybe. Have to find out next session. We'll After next fisting session. some centipedes. Um, why do you have to phrase it like that? Uh, are you <laughs> witch asking me why I phrase something <laughs> horny? <laughs> Who are you and what have you done I, with I my just, friend? I just, I just like to, to, to switch it on you, man. Just like to switch it up. Uh, see, turn about is fair play. Mm, please don't turn me it's about. True. Uh, anyway. <laughs> oh, thank you, Lemitar. For the 100 bits. I appreciate that. Uh, <laughs> Lemitar just donated 100 bits. That's thank awesome. Thank you for supporting our friend, George. Yay, friend, George. Thank you for... Uh, Throwing a entire loony into the side of Jord's head. <laughs> god. Oh my god. I, I should we have get a, a, a thing where Sorry, a I forget that we have American viewers. A loony is a coin that it's a represents dollar. It's a one dollar. dollar. Uh, I, I uh, should probably make something that's like a picture of my head with an obvious penny bouncing off of it. Uh, <laughs> Fat likes to donate one bit at a time. Repeatedly, yeah. And, uh, we we have been here for that. I think his head. Levitar's been here for that, but I appreciate the support, okay. friend. Uh, <laughs> at any rate, um, okay, cool, Ben, cool, cool. Uh, interesting, interesting. Wild mass guessing. I love yep. how furiously you guys are trying to prove that the supernatural <laughs> is here. You're not alone. Okay. Um, <laughs> Like, there's been so many instances where you guys are like, this is clearly a setup. This is, this is, you know, uh, this is a vampire. This is a demon. Something's going on here. And it's like, maybe it's just the cops, guys. <laughs> and, and we can't trust you saying that. So <laughs> I know, but it's really fun for me to, to um, I mean, I'm going to say this and I'm not going to tell you whether or not it's a lie. But not include any supernatural elements and watch you guys just struggle to find the supernatural in it. <laughs> the that exact statement is why we don't trust you. <laughs> well, that and your exalt. Anyway, uh, yeah. cool. So jumping back to the right, Darius. Uh, on the topic of the supernatural, I'm still convinced with your reaction to what all of our guesses were last session that there is something supernatural going on with uh, whatever happened with Paul. Mm. Again, it doesn't make sense for the character assassination, as mentioned, uh, to have occurred, <sighs> let alone to immediately go and uh, enjoy the bath bomb experience. Okay. Like, it's just... <laughs> I was trying to think of a good way to phrase it. Uh, that wasn't it. So, yeah. uh, I do want to, okay, I'm not saying whether or not this is a supernatural thing, but I do want to make it clear, uh, the loss of someone that close to you suddenly like that can cause people to do some pretty dark things, like, for example, a bath bomb. Uh, and he could very well have just been trying to prove his world. You guys knew that one of his intimacies was... Uh, prove that the world is normal. Yeah. So like, well, I wanna... maybe he was just sad, guys. <laughs> so not to get onto a bit of a topic, why, as a as a person who like wore a crucifix, uh huh, why, why would he be trying to prove that unless he just lost faith in God? I would like to point out that the crucifix was added to the character after I created him. Uh, but also, yeah, yeah, you're right. No one who has ever wrote, worn a crucifix has been an atheist. Um, I would, I would say that um, a lot of the people who are faithful before right. experiencing a great loss tend to have the deepest questions about yeah. something mm -hmm. that they believed firmly rather than those who don't believe go well this just kind of confirms it mm -hmm. uh, anyways I'll bounce back to you before, uh, sorry that's a lot before 830 rolls around yeah. okay uh, are you done Mr. Mr. Darius yeah alright and so, 
Wild mask guessing. Come on, Mr. Yeah, uh, this, th this is maybe me channeling my character a little too much, but um, I was looking in the right in the wrong places with 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 Paul's character, or he really isn't the kind of person to just like drop the pursuit of the truth, drop everything, and premeditate his own suicide. That just doesn't seem doesn't it doesn't seem likely enough, even if it is possible. Okay. Um, I think I think where I'm at is is the one pattern I've seen so far is people and things going wrong for mercy specifically in ways that could be coincidence or could be conspiracy, and I'm not willing to rule out either. Okay, fair enough. Uh, I recommend Wait. that you guys keep a log of any. Uh, questions or, or things you want to know the behind the scenes of for at the end of the campaign because I will answer uh, questions as to what actually went on for these things after the campaign has ended. I legitimately thought you were going to say I recommend you guys calm the hell down. Uh, nope. No, I recommend you continue to not calm the hell down. It's funnier that way. <laughs> Better content. I, I do I do have one thing I want to say on the whole Paul thing. Didn't you state that Paul looked like he was happy when he was leaving that interview? He sure Could've did. Relief at his premeditated, uh, well, now I yep. can go join my wife, which is really dark, but also- Also extremely realistic. common. Uh, most mm -hmm. people, yeah. when they uh, finally make the choice to kill themselves, uh, experience about three to five days of happiness beforehand. Because they just, they're done. They don't have to worry about it. Kind of dark, but it is super dark. You have a point. Uh, I am very familiar with the topic. Uh, now, I've never done it myself, but I've known some people. Uh, yeah. So yeah. Anyway, I knew someone was gonna call me out on that, and I had the fucking perfect defense. Yeah. Um. That was that. The whole thing felt like it could be realistic, which in this game setting makes me suspicious because you. You, you don't just make something that's going to be obvious. You make people question. <laughs> so, it, it, so yeah. could it be? <laughs> let me see if I understand your point correctly. Um, yeah. Either. No, no, no. Here's the thing. Either. You were, either you, it was always going to be realistic, or it's realistic, but it's a, a red Okay, game. so real quick. Uh, my options as a storyteller are make something realistic because it's real and be accused of uh, conspiracy from, like, evil entities or just obviously involve magic. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> your, thir your, third option, your third option is the mystery of, well, we think it could be just realism, and we're worried. And that's, that's where you've been walking, and it's great. Oh, okay. Well, at any rate, um, yeah. it's, it's been... It's been a fun time, guys. Uh, let's, uh, oh, we're a bit over time, actually. I think that we're going to wrap it up here. Um, so. Imagine late ending. Be, imagine being late to Bibbles. Imagine being late to Bibbles, indeed. Um, I will be changing my schedule moving forward uh, for Tuesday's streams. Tuesday? Tomorrow's Tuesday. Yes, Tuesday. Uh, I'll be doing them in the evenings from now on. So, uh, just my work schedule has changed and I've got that afternoon off. So I will be doing them in the evenings, which I'm looking forward to because I actually prefer evening streams like this one. Uh, at any rate, uh, yeah. So I will be back tomorrow at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Not middle of the ocean time, Aki. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh -huh. Just slam dunked in the middle of the Pacific. <laughs> that is not where Just I live. Bloop. That is, With nope. Traz. I hate that so much. I mean you sharks. Know yeah, I heard you the first time. Uh, hey. Alright, well guys, thank you for joining me for more Exalted. It was, uh, as always, very funny to watch you try to read into everything as demons and devils and the fae. This was a blast. Um, I We will be back next week to do the combat round. Uh, no blue booking, you fucking monsters. I'm so tired. Uh, <laughs> uh, at any rate, I think that's where we're going to end it, guys. So, um, chat, Bibs. thank you so much for being here. 
and uh, 